has suddenly joined the mix here, Frank. He's just a couple of shots behind the leader. Now at the eighth, and Frank, this really is a clever design, fun hole to play. Very pretty hole. Uh, that bunker down the left, just over 300 yards. Ideally, you just work it off that bunker. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. And it makes the green in regulation. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Did a nice job with that putt. Good read, good speed. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Final hole now of the front side. It's a 474 yard par four. And Frank, you've played it before. What works best here? Well, ideally a nice little draw off the tee, but the hole's quite weird because the, the tee shot shapes to the left and yet the green goes the other way. Second shot. That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. Well, who knows? It is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. Young Star makes his birdie. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but, Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. But a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. It's that sneaky distance. Oh, that's a good par there, Rich. Frank, that wraps up another great day of golf here at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Always enjoy it. Yeah, it's always a great test. Uh, win, lose, or draw, you've played the Kings golf course. Couldn't have said it better myself from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm Rich Lerner. For Frank Nabilo, until next time. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Oh, I like that. Looking at 125 yards. Arnold Palmer's legacy to golf 
is in so many different areas. We see it just in the way people react to the game. But really, when we go to Bay Hill, it's the one golf course that you'll see as you've been out there. His clubs are always on the on the back of the car. He's ready to go to the range. It's it's almost in every little blade of grass out there because Arnold plays it whenever he can. The king, the, whatever you want to call him, Mr. Palmer. Um, he lives and breathes at Bay Hill. And when the tournament comes around every March, it's a great reminder to not just Mr. Palmer, but also the golf course and all those little obstacles that he put in your way, water normally, and, and all the great events. And it's fun. It's a golf course, too, that anybody can play. You know, when I think of Arnold Palmer, I think uh, the young professionals could learn just a few things uh, for, from one of the all-time greats. First of all, reach out to the galleries, sign autographs. Look make, him in the eye, make, too. make eye contact, as he always did. Number two, own your golf swing. Whatever it is, believe in it. Maybe a little different. It may not be by the book, but own it and be comfortable with it. And then I think number three, go for it. That's what Arnie always did. Go for it at the risk of failure because you'll never be great if you just lay back all the time. Arnie always went for it. One little lesson, too. You reminded me there. The one common denominator with just about every great player is a good grip. Arnold Palmer learned that for his dad. So if you're picking up a golf club for the first time or playing it for the hundredth time, then with a good grip, it'll take you a long way. Early part of this second nine and a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Frank, 574-yard par 5. Scoring opportunity here? The breeze behind, once again, a reachable par five. Uh, the hardest thing about this hole really is the green. It's raised up a little bit, slopes off on either side. Nice position, short grass, second shot. So after the layup, Frank, here at the par 5, 12, hit shot here, try to make birdie. Yeah, just use the contours of this green. Uh, you can actually get to this flag a lot of different ways. Uh, using one of the mounds, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. So into the top 15 on the leaderboard with that birdie. A few more, and who knows, maybe top 10 or top 5. At the par 4, 13th now. And Frank, what's the key here? Really avoid those three bunkers, Rich. You don't want a fairway bunker shot over water for your second shot. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. That's a nice spot right there in the fairway here at 13. Par 4, 13. Frank, how do you hit this approach shot? Rich, it's the first par four at Bay Hill where the water is actually on the right of the green, um, and that has to be taken into consideration. Just a little errant shot, and then you're going to be wet. So a little left of the flag, that's where you want to be. That's an outstanding shot right there, and it sets up a really good look at birdie. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. Frank, as we come to the 14th of par three, what's ahead for the players? Once again, another tough par three coming up. A narrow at the front. It gets a little wider the further you go up this green. This is a good looking shot. Great effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. He'll take par and move on. There you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? 
I think anybody looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top 10 of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of the golf there in that first 10 is excellent. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Now the second shot here at this par five. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. Pretty good result right there, considering it looked rough all the way. Exactly. It really did. All right, Frank, you've played it safe. Now you have that third shot. What's the best way to get to that whole location and make the birdie? The angle of the green really does favor the layup shot because at least you're hitting across the length of the green, but uh, it's a little bit like that third hole, a very narrow green. So once again, that wedge shot has to be very precise. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Even par currently. Good putt. Frank, the good news as you come to the seventh after that beast of a par five is that it's just under 200 yards and there's no water. Yeah, it's not as long as the second, but it's just as demands very narrow entry into the screen. Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit regulation. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Frank, I'm sure it feels good to get some red numbers on the card, but this tournament is probably too far out of reach at this point. No question. Getting ready to tee off here at the eighth. Frank, this hole has it all. Dog leg, bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? It's such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right, but be careful of those trees on the right. That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Good birdie right there. Yeah, this game, when you can't win, it's all about top 10s, top 20s. And currently, that's exactly where they stand. Finishing up here on the front side at Bay Hill with a lengthy par form. What's the key, Frank? Well, the hole's relatively flat, uh, but the rough on the right comes into play. If you can carry that ball 300 yards, then just take it in over the bunker. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Ready for his third shot. Needs to hit this close. Pretty good shot right there. Locked in on the read and the speed. 